again and welcome to Mrs. Patnell's Maths, week two, lesson one. Okay, and as promised this week, we are going to look at subtraction, which is taking away. Okay, now um, we are going to first of all do some counting as we always do. So we're going to look up here at our 100 square, and first of all, we're going to count to 80, like a cup of tea. Uh, in ones because we counted up to 70 I think at the end of last week it might even have been 80 but we're going to go to 80 again today okay we're going to go high on the multiples of 5 and low on the multiples of 10 which are the ones that end in a 0 okay so are you ready 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, nearly there, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, se oh sorry, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Well done. Fantastic counting in ones up to 80. Now we're going to look at counting backwards in ones because it will help with our subtraction, our taking away this week. So we're going to start at 20, work backwards until we get to one. And you can even put the zero on because, as you know, that would go here if our hundred square had room. Okay. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, gets easier now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we often say blast off, or indeed zero, okay? So that is our counting for today. I'm going to show you some of my pink numbers as well, and I want you to have a go at counting back from one of these numbers, okay? So just like before when you counted on, it's the same sort of principle, same idea. I want you to say the number on the card and then count backwards from that number, okay? So for instance, if I show you this number, you would say five, four, three, two, okay? Say about three more numbers after the number I'm showing you, okay? So that's that one, let's go with this one. So eight, seven, six, five. Fantastic. Let's try. Mm, let's give it this one. So you have your hundred hundred square ready as well to help you if you find it tricky. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Let's try another T number. Let's go with this one. Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. Excellent. One more. A bit tricky this one if you're using the hundred square. Eleven, ten, nine. Fantastic counting backwards to help you with your subtraction that you're taking away. Okay, let's pop those over there. 
Right, now we're going to have a little look at number of the day, okay? Now, by all means, use your mats that you've been using. I see some of you have been drawing them out at home, which is fantastic. I'm really impressed with that. So number of the day today is 12. So I'm only going to go this far with the mat today and then you by all means can carry on at home thinking about the tally lines for 12, the dots, how you can make 12 in dots, an adding sentence here and then two numbers that will make up to 12 here. But what I want to move on with our number of the day, which is 12, is thinking about telling your adults at home facts about 12 okay and facts we know from looking at information books are things that are true okay they're not made up from someone's imagination they are true things true facts about 12 okay so you can pause the video now if you want and have a chat with your adult to think of some true facts about number of the day 12 I'm going to go into a few now if there's some that you've said, well done. If they're similar, fantastic. Maybe they're just different to yours, but yours may just be facts as well that I just hadn't thought of myself. Okay, so number of the day 12. I'm gonna find it on my hundreds square to give me a hand. This will help me think of facts already. So here's my number of the day 12. So I can see that any numbers that follow on from 12 are going to be higher numbers than 12. They're going to be worth more. Okay, so I could say a fact about 12, I could say 15, which is here, further on, 15 is more than 12. Okay, there's one fact about 12. I could say that, because all these numbers that come before 12 will be less than 12, okay? They're worth less, they're smaller numbers. So I could say that 12 is a bigger number than eight maybe that's a fact about 12 12 is a bigger number than eight right um, now if i look at 12 as well in my numicon thinking back to what we were looking at last week if i show you 12 made with one lot of 10 that's the one part of 12 and then the two that follows in the ones column so if i show you that okay here's 12 every single hole has a partner Okay, so I could say that 12 is an even number because everyone could be shared out with their partners, one on each side, okay? So they all have a friend, they all have a partner each hole. So I could say 12 is an even number, okay? And there's three facts about 12 there. You may have come up with some different ones that you've told your adults. I'd love to hear about them on tapestry. That would be fantastic, okay? So we're gonna do some subtraction today and all of the numbers I'm going to start with is going to be number of the day so every single subtraction sentence is going to start with 12 okay and you're going to see lots of different ways that I can take different numbers away from 12 and come up with a different answer okay so I'm going to start with this one I've got my 12 I'm going to take away uh, two first of all let's go for a nice easy one so I've got 12 there's that math symbol we know take away one line 12 take away or subtract two equals how many okay now there's three ways that you could work out this question i would say the trickiest way is to use your fingers and count back okay so you know you're taking away two so you've got 12 in your head that you're starting off with and you're going to take away two so let's say two fingers worth of counting okay two here 12's in your head you're going to count back and take away two Okay, I'd say this is the trickiest way, but some of you can do it this way. So by all means, test yourselves and go with this way if you can. So 12 is in my head. I'm going to count backwards two numbers because I'm taking away two. So 12, okay, and when I put down a finger, it's like a jump on the 100 square. So I'm going to say one less than 12, 11, one less than 11, 10. Okay, so 12, take away two. I've counted back two in my head, really, just my fingers to help. The answer would be 10, okay? There's another way that you could do it, which is the way we do it quite a lot in class, and you could use your 100 square or a number line to help you work out 12 takeaway two. So because I start with 12 on my subtraction sentence, my takeaway sentence, my finger would go straight to 12 on the 100 square. I know I've got to take away two, two jumps. So when I'm on my 12, I'm going to count back two jumps and my answer will be the number I land on. Remember, only count the jumps, don't count the number that you're already touching, just the jump, 
Okay, so I'm taking away two jumps. So one jump, this one's a bit trickier. I've got to count this as a jump as I jump up to this line. And my answer is 10. 12 take away two is 10. That agrees with how I did it on my fingers. Another way you could do it, and I would say this is probably the easiest way. So by all means, try this way first and maybe push yourself to go on to tricky ones. I'm gonna count out 12. And let's turn this over so we're not getting confused. One, two, that teddy bear was in a handstand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I've got my twelve teddy bears. He's been a bit rude. Let's turn him around. So I've got my 12 teddy bears, okay? You can do this with, and I've seen you do it at home with crayons um, and sweets and all sorts of excellent ways of doing this, okay? So I've got 12 teddy bears and I want to take away two. So I'm just gonna take one, two away. And I can still find out the answer now by counting how many are left, okay? So if you're finding counting backwards a bit tricky to take away, and we all do sometimes, then you can now count how many are left once you've taken the two away. Let's give it a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gives us the same answer. No matter what way we choose to do it, we get the same correct answer, which is ten. Okay? So that's three ways that you can test yourself to do it, okay? By all means, start with the easier way, if you think, with the actual objects and take them away and count what's left test yourself and maybe try it with the hundred square or even if you want to try it with your fingers and counting back in your head okay let's try one more subtraction sentence I'm going to start with 12 again okay because it's my number of the day but this time I'm not going to take away two I'm going to take away five so I'm going to write my five in there instead so if I look at my number sentence now I'm starting with 12 again, number of the day, and I'm taking away five, I'm subtracting five, and I want to know what it equals, what's my answer to 12 take away five, okay? So, I can use my three options again. I can put 12 in my head, because that's what I'm starting off with, and I know I'm taking away five. So here are my fingers to put down as I take them away and count backwards in my head. Trickiest way, okay? So 12's in my head. Each one is a bit like a jump. So as I put one finger down, I have to count back one number, okay? So 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So my answer, by doing it that way, is 7. Let's try that out and see if that works by using the second method on the 100 square. So my a number sentence starts with a 12, so my finger will go straight to that 12 on the 100 square. I am taking away, I'm subtracting 5, so 5 jumps to count back. Don't count the 12 that you're touching, only count the jump. And then the number that you land on will be your answer. Let's see if we still get 7. So on 12, we're going to count back 1. Remember, this is counted as a jump as you jump to 10. Two, three, four, five. And I've landed on my answer, which is seven. So that works for that as well. Let's just try it with 12 teddies again. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops, flying away. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and 12 teddies. But this time I am taking away 5. Take away 5. So let's pop them over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've physically taken them away. I've moved them away from the others. And my answer, if I'm having trouble counting backwards, I can just count what's left when I've taken that 5 away. Let's have a count. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven. The same answer, the correct answer equals seven. Okay, and you can give your uh, number sentences a little tick. Maybe if you do it one of the ways, you can check your answer again by trying it in one of the other of the other three ways, just to see if you get the same answer twice, then you know you're definitely right then, okay? It's always good to check your answers, okay? 
if you find yourself with an answer when you're taking away that's bigger than the number you start with, so if you've worked it out maybe in your head, 12 take away 5, and you've come up with the number 15, okay, that's not a great 5 there, you know that can't be the right answer. Because it's a takeaway question, whatever number you start with, as you are taking amounts away, and this time we took away five, the number is always going to be a smaller number, a number that's worth less because you've taken some away. So what's left is always going to be a smaller number, okay? Unless, of course, you might be taking away zero, taking away nothing at all, in which case the answer would stay the same. But if you're taking away a number from this number here, this number will always be a smaller number in the answer. So always remember to check your answers. And if you've got a bigger number at the end for your answer, bigger than the number you started with, you know something's gone a bit wrong there, okay? Because you cannot take away numbers, certainly in reception anyway, and still be left, and be left with a bigger number, okay? So, I'm going to set you some questions now, okay? You can do these ones at home on your boards or in your pink books or wherever you want to do them. I would love to see them on tapestry, so do please add them to tapestry so I can see your marvellous taking away. And let me know what method you chose to use, okay? Or if you started with one and moved on to tricky ones. So I'm going to do all these with the number of the day. So 12 take away 6 equals... 12 again and then you'll really be familiar with where it is on the number line take away mm, let's go with just a good old one let's do so it's one less than 12 be quite easy to do that one 12 take away eight and let's go with 12 take away hmm, let's do 12 take away nine okay so have a go at doing these four questions at home in your books or on your whiteboards and do post them to tapestry, okay? And we'll see how you go with those. But yes, let me know which method you preferred when you were doing your subtraction, your taking away. All right then, guys, I hope to see you again tomorrow when we'll look at subtraction again in some more detail. Thanks very much for joining me. Bye-bye.